there's something mesmerizing about Roman numerals on wash dial. Wash people think of wristwash as an expression not really functional. Otherwise, we will be wearing a smart watch. So we are at some degree nostalgic. And the Roman dial is one of the strongest and most obvious expression of the classical past. The master of Roman dial is Cartier. My first crush in wristwatch as a grown up is Cartier Santos 100 series. It was popular back when I started to look for the first decent watch. It is both a sporty square case and stylized oversized Roman numeral that struck me. But what we'll be talking about today is my second crush, a Rolex Buckley dial. In a way, it is a Rolex response to Cartier. Like painted Roman numerals and mini track, when combining with white gold flute bezel, a signature of dead just, create an ultimate charming classical combination that differentiate itself from other typical dead just. It is my second Rolex. Before I decided to pull the trigger. I thought it was a rare and nearly impossible to find. But when I started to really look around, it is still available at around $5,500. The overall condition is good for a pre-owned 40 years old watch. The impression in the first hour on my wrist is how shiny the bezel was after decades of use. The dial is clean and turning naturally faded with age. The painted numeral is razor sharp. Loom plots are patinated to a yellowish tone. At this point, you may start to notice the issue of the piece. The hour and minute hands are plain. They come without loom. The obvious detail that I missed maybe because of the excitement encountering the desired piece. For weeks, I kept looking online to see if there are other Buckley did just without lumen hands. Unfortunately, I found none. It could be the aftermarket hands replacement, but it fits well with the piece. The shape, the size and the color seem to be right. In retrospect, I should have noticed before purchasing and at least asked for a replacement or a decent discount. Despite the issue, the piece quickly becomes my most wish time watch of 2022. With 50 days of use out of 365, or around 14%. A huge success comparing with last year winner which is Casio 6900 at 26 days or just 7%. There are two more pieces in my collection that build up my confidence before picking up a Rolex Buckley. It is somewhat like a time to get to know each other whether my liking was real or not. This Belova is a Cartier Drive homage. A three-handed black and white Roman numeral watch in cushion case basically. The dial is simply all painted, far less elaborated than Cartier. The style is there even though the craftsmanship may not. What Belova did well on this piece is the design of the case. Instead of all polished finish like Cartier Drive, they add the flat area with brush finish to frame the dial. Visually the same effect as the bezel. It also adds the sophistication of the geometry of the case, creating angles 
to make this play even better with light. This prime chips is the closest economical resemblance of Florida Buckley I found at the time. It is smaller in size. The railroad mini track is nearer to the center of dial. The same way Cartier put on their pieces. This is like a test to see how well they just style floated bezel and black and white Roman numeral goes together. What I find a little off about this piece is the proportion of the dial. It seems like the outer edge of Roman numeral is too close to the real heart. Not a good fit in this case. Even though the master of classic Roman dial is Cartier, Rolex also exploit the same consumer preference by having many Roman dials in their lineup. It may look outdated for some, but to me, it is the archetype of a watch. I still wish at the corner of my mind that the set of hands on my Rolex Buckley is original. I heard from John Buckley himself in the video that there are a wide variety of hands that doesn't seem original, but they actually are like silver hands on black and white dial. Hopefully, there are black hands without loom in the list too. Let me know if you have come across a buckley dial with black hands without loom.